Lake Louise. There is truly no other mountain resorts that can compare to Lake Louise in Alberta. Boasting Alberta's biggest skiable acreage at 4,200 acres, 164 marked runs, and a 3,250 foot vertical drop, Lake Louise is a spectacular place. In this video, I will be ranking each of Lake Louise's lifts based on both the lift itself and the terrain it serves. This will probably be a very controversial video to many people, but hey, nothing like stirring the pot. This video will start with my least favorite lift and work to my favorite. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Number 8. Lower Juniper Express The Lower Juniper Express opened in 2022 and brought four brand new beginner trails to Lake Louise. In the future, a second lift named Upper Juniper will continue up the mountain to where the top of the world chair ends. Until then, I don't really care much for this chair. Although it's a nice lift, servicing some very nice, although icy, runs, compared with the rest of Lake Louise, all the Lower Juniper Express is, is just a small beginner terrain pod. Maybe when Upper Juniper Express is constructed, I'll revise my opinion of this lift. But for now, it's a pretty boring lift in the grand scheme of Lake Louise. So let's move on. Number 7. Glacier Express Glacier Express is one of Lake Louise's two lifts that you take to access the upper mountain. Glacier services various green and blue trails, as well as a few terrain parks, which can be pretty fun. I don't really care to lap this chair too much, as the few runs it does serve are flooded with skiers on busy days, and they can get pretty congested. Until the Lower Juniper Express went in earlier this year, Glacier Express was the only beginner chairlift at Lake Louise, a role which it has not done well at, due to way too many skiers and way too few ski runs. Overall, it's not a lift at Lake Louise that I spend lots of time on, as there are simply better terrain pods to enjoy. But it is a handy way to access the upper mountain via the top of the world chair. So let's move on. Number 6. Tarmacan Chair Probably one of the steepest chairlifts I've ever been on, the Tarmacan Chair creates an easy link between Lake Louise's backside and the top of the gondola. For terrain, the Tarmacan Chair doesn't really offer much. There are some pretty fun glades to the skier's right while riding up the chair, but that's pretty much it. On non-busy times, this lift does its job just fine. But on busy days or peak times, you can expect to wait anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes getting up this chair, just depending on how big the line is. The lift often slows or even stops during these busy times. The seats are at least very comfortable in the tarmacan chair though. Number 5. Grizzly Express Gondola The Grizzly Express Gondola was installed to use in 2004 and indirectly replaced both a detachable quad chair and a double chair, providing a one lift ride to a really convenient place in the mountain. While this gondola's placement may be convenient, the lift itself is not. This lift is very creaky, which isn't usually a big problem, except for going under depression towers when the whole cabin will shake. Also, this lift has the biggest lines on the mountain. It is a nuisance to take your skis off and wait in a line, which is why I usually try to stay on the chairlifts. The problem with that is the removal of the eagle chair. It is now impossible to access the top of the gondola by using the other front side lifts. This means that if the back bowls are closed due to avalanche control, you have no other way to access the lower backside or large area without taking the gondola. Overall, these are just my observations about this lift. This lift services some staggering amounts of terrain, and it's really fun if you don't have to wait in lineups. Number 4. Top of the World The top of the world is a beast of a lift. While long lines often form, due to top of the world's high capacity, Lift lines usually won't take more than 5 to 10 minutes at most. This is a really nice chair, and it serves as a great drop off point for either venturing into the back bolts or to the summit chair. As previously mentioned, you cannot access the top of the gondola from this chair without going into the backside and up the ptarmigan chair. This chair itself serves some really fun blue runs and black runs. I would highly recommend it. Number 3 Paradise Chair. The Paradise Chair starts from halfway down the back bowls and takes you to the second highest lift service summit at Lake Louise. As the oldest lift on the mountain, Paradise is truly a throwback to days gone by. While it's a slow and somewhat uncomfortable ride, it's actually pretty nice. The lower half of the chair meanders through the trees, while the upper half of the chair is exposed. The skiing off Paradise is truly some of my favorite skiing at the lake. While Paradise Bowl is usually quite bumpy, if the wind is going at the right direction, it will push up the snow so the moguls aren't too bad. There are many areas to explore off this chair, including steeper chutes and endless powder fields. As mentioned before, 
The bottom of this chair has some pretty good tree skiing. Lastly, this chair almost never has a line, even on busy days, so it's a pretty good lift to lap if you don't mind the slower speed. Number two, Larch Express. The Larch Express is one of my favorite lifts at the lake. The ride is fast, and the terrain off this lift is just really fun. While the trail map only shows a handful of marked runs, in reality, anywhere off the Larch chair can be a run if you choose to make it one. But of the marked runs, you will find winding groomers, to steeper groomers, to steeper moguls. If you're at the lake after a good snowfall, make sure to try the rock garden at least once. The tree skiing off this chair is really good, and almost everyone can find something that they'll like on this chair. While sometimes it does get big lines, I've only ever waited 5 minutes at most to get on a chair, which is fairly decent. The Larch is a great chair servicing great terrain. Number 1. Summit Quad The Summit Quad is by far the coolest lift at Lake Louise. The Summit chair services everything, from high alpine bowls, to endless powder fields, to great tree skiing. Opened in 2020, the new West Bowl has really transformed Lake Louise and it's an amazing area of the mountain. While it feels so remote, in reality, you're only 10 minutes away from a chair. The Summit Chair was a brand new installation at Lake Louise, replacing the old, very steep Summit Platter. This chair is pretty short, but with breathtaking views all around, it is an amazing ride. Overall, this is the best lift at Lake Louise in my opinion. Thanks for watching this video! Let me know in the comments below which lifts are your favorite at Lake Louise. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you like my content. Thanks for watching.